Maccabees Alliance, man, it was, it was something, I, I gotta speak on it, I gotta let them know, you know, what we thought about it. Shalom, shalom, most high Christ, bless to you all, you know what I mean, uh, giving all praises to the most high, through Christ, the savior of the body of Israel, and uh, just wanted to speak real quick, you see the title, uh, this is my reaction to the Maccabees Alliance Council Passover event that we attended, the opening of the Passover feast that we attended the brothers here in New Jersey, we attended the feast out in Ohio this uh, this this past weekend. And I uh, just want to get my, my reaction, what we thought, what we saw, um, how things went, and uh, let y'all know. So, jumping right in, jumping right in, I'm just going to say, um, you know, one of the, 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 the first thing that happened... Um, Officer Yeshaya had arrived to, he arrived at the, the first night of the event. He was there. He went a little bit ahead of me. Um, you know, I was a little, running a little bit late. But um, Officer went there and he went there with one of the other brothers and his family. And um, the first thing that he said, he texted me, he texted me right away and let me know. He said, you know, because I text him back. I say, hey, what's going on? Everything cool? Everything straight? Just hoping, you know, making sure the brother's okay. You know, we're in Ohio. We've never been out that way before. And just wanted to make sure as a leader, just want to make sure the brothers were okay. So I text officer and I say, hey, what's going on? Everything cool? The brother texted me back real quick and said, yeah, man. He said, look, the brother Ash Yasharala he welcomed us, he welcomed us warmly, was his exact words. He said he welcomed us warmly. You know what I mean? So that really was the that was that that's gonna explain pretty much this whole video. You know what I mean? Um 
It was a beautiful, 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 beautiful event, Israel. It was a beautiful event. And it was highly spiritual. It was a highly spiritual event. It was a blessing to come together with all of Israel. It was a blessing to be in the same building, worshiping the Most High with brothers. I mean, some of the brothers, you know, I only seen and spoke to on um, on Facebook. Um, it was a blessing to 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 be able to meet these brothers in person. You know, to meet different brothers in person, it was such a blessing. Um, you know, brothers that you follow or you communicate with through so social media. It was a real blessing to kind of meet these brothers in person and, and um, you know, give all praises and shalom them and everything else. Um, it was just a beautiful event, man. I can't even tell you, you know, it's, it's really hard difficult to explain it but it's definitely something that Israel must do you know I mean we call the scripture we call Zephaniah 2 and 1 all the time but y'all have no idea you know Shalom Ash y'all have no idea man like we were actually in the midst of gather yourselves together oh nation not desire that's what the scripture says. It says, O nation, not O congregation, O camp, O organization. It says, gather yourselves together, O nation, not desire. We had several different camps in the building, man. Several different camps in the building. And not everybody believes the scriptures the same. Not everybody believes the doctrine the same. But guess what? It was the Lord's Passover. It was the Lord's Passover. And it was a time to come together. Man, you have no idea how beautiful, how powerful that really was. You know what I mean? You have no idea how beautiful it was, man. Like, you got brothers... You know what I'm saying? You got brothers that are just doing different things. They believe slightly different things than us. But guess what? What do we have in common? We have keep the commandments. We got Revelation 14 and 12. Keep the commandments with faith in Christ. That's what we all had in common. And we came together, man. It was beautiful. You have no idea. Like all of Israel must, must come together. They must you must, if you are a camp leader, if you are a captain somewhere, if you are an elder somewhere, I really challenge you to reach out to the council. Reach out to the brothers that are with the Maccabees Alliance Council and inquire about joining this council. Because this council was, they moving in the spirit, man. They are moving in the spirit. And it's, look, at the end of the day, Israel must come together. We must come together. We must start building bridges instead of building, uh, you know, walls. We must start building bridges because before you know it, Jacob's troubles are going to be highly increased. Jacob's troubles are going to be highly increased to a point where, you know, you see a brother with fringes or you see a brother who knows who, that he's Israel in the streets. That brother is your ally. That brother might be your ally. That brother might be your savior. That brother might be your helper. That brother might be comfort for you. We got to come together, man. You know what I'm saying? Just being in Ohio, we, you know, I live here in, in Newark, New Jersey. And we went all the way out to Ohio to where the brother, I am Israel, Ash Yasharala, he was hosting the event. We went all the way out that way. Was in the hotel. And I'm seeing brothers. You see a brother. And this is how I roll anyway. You know what I'm saying? Even if even back here, back home. If I see a brother with fringes on. If I see, yo, guess what? Even if I see a brother with a yarmulke on his head. An Israelite brother. I, and I've seen them. I've seen several brothers with yarmulkes on their head. I still shalom them. I still speak to them. I still build with them. 
And, you know, we was in the hotel in Ohio. Shouts to my brother Pawa with um, AOC, Ambassadors of Christ. Shouts to the General Hashar. Um, all those brothers over there. You know what I mean? I'm running into brothers in the hotel. And, you know, just it's just a, it was just a beautiful thing, man. Just beautiful for Israel to finally come together. You know, several different camps, hundreds to thousands of, of brothers and sisters coming together. There was, look, we had several different camps, all slightly different doctrines, and not one fight, not one argument. You got some camps where it's just your camp. It's just your camp at the Passover, and y'all fighting amongst yourselves. So I really, truly believe that, you know, that's the spirit, man. That's the spirit that Christ wants us to be in before he comes, before he comes to get us. Because, you know, we know that the scriptures say that he's coming to gather a nation. He's coming to gather the 12 tribes of Israel. It don't, it ain't just your organization. It ain't just your camp. He's coming to get us all. And if we truly believe that the Most High's grace and His mercy covers us, right? If we believe in the blood of Hamashiach Yehoshaphat, if we believe in His blood, right? Then where certain brothers believe something different or whatever the case may be, then that, that covers them brothers, man. And guess what? Believe this. When Christ returns, He's going to correct us all. So where you think that your camp got all the, the right doctrine, what you going to do when Christ say to you, nah, y'all off on that. You better humble down. You better humble down because when, when Hamashiach Yahweh says to you, you know what? I'm here now. 12 tribes. I'm here now. Guess what? This is wrong. You got to do it this way. You better have a humble spirit to where you Listening to, to the to the to the master, you can't say, "Oh no, we've been doing it like this for so long." Oh, I believe this, or I believe that. So it's no, it makes no sense to even, you know, for us to be separating ourselves, man. The scriptures say, "Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired." Because guess what, Esau and the other nations, they don't care. If you believe in multiple wives, they don't care if you cover your head or not. They don't care if you say Shalom or Shalom. The other nations are against us all. They don't care. They're not making a difference. Oh, this brother, he believes multiple wives. This one don't. They're not making a difference. Oh, this brother speaks La Shalom Kadash. This one don't. The nations are not making a difference, man. And when the Most High click that button and be like, you know what? Turn up. Turn up the troubles. Turn up the troubles on Jacob. You, all you're going to have is each other. All you're going to have is a fellow Israelite that believes. That believes in Christ. That's all you're going to have. So you better start rehearsing the righteous acts. And the number one righteous act is coming together. We must come together. So that's what the Maccabees Alliance Passover was really about. You know, Shalom says, Most High in Christ, bless. We, um, you know, at this Maccabees Alliance, we came together. Um, there was many different camps, as I mentioned. We was all loving each other, all hugs. You know what I mean? Like the officer told me, he said, Asha Sharala, he said he welcomed us warmly. And that was just a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? He said, this brother, they never met before. They don't really know who they are, who one another is or whatever. And the brother said, as soon as we walked in the building, we was welcomed warmly. And that was what it was. And guess what? Look, this ain't my first Passover. This ain't my first, you know, this ain't my first uh, go at the rodeo. I've been at different Passovers with different camps that I've been a part of in the past. And I can I'm gonna say this, and this is a true statement. This was the first Passover where almost 
literally everybody. I didn't feel no type of weird vibes, no type of weird spirits off of nobody. You know what I'm saying? I've been in camps, a camp that I came out of. I've gone to the Passover and some brothers, uh, you know, some brothers good. Everything's all good. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. And then other brothers, you kind of feel weird vibes, but you don't say nothing. You know, you in the, you in the spirit, you in the, the midst of the Passover, you just leave it as it is. But I felt weird vibes before at events like this, because rightfully so, we don't know each other. You know, not everybody knows each other, but man, listen, at this event, Maccabees Alliance, there was no weird vibes. We all were in the spirit. Everybody was at peace with each other. Um, and like I said, we don't all believe exactly the same doctrine. We don't all believe the scriptures exactly the same way. But it wasn't about that. It was about coming together. It was about coming together and just worshiping the most high. And you have no idea, man. The brothers over there, the leadership over there at Maccabees, they are truly in the spirit. They are truly in the spirit. To have the foresight to say, let's come together. You know what? Let's sit down at the same table. Because if you read through the scriptures, you're going to see. Whenever real judgments had to be made, real judgments. I'm not talking about judgment within your camp and within the leadership of your camp. No, whenever real judgments had to be made, what did, what did Moses do? He gathered all the elders. All the elders of Israel, all of them, not just the ones from Northern Kingdom or Southern Kingdom or Judah or whatever the case may be. He gathered all the elders in Israel. All the elders must come together and sit down. Stop with this division. We coming with the spirit. Like I said, like Captain Ash Yashavala said, we must lead with love, man. Christ said, love one another. You're going to know them if they love one another. The true followers of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, they love one another. So y'all got to really look at what's happening over here with the Maccabees Alliance. You know what I mean? We're loving each other. Um, brothers is coming together. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, other things I want to touch on. It was, it was an honor you know, the elder Matathua, elder Matthias, he goes back all the way to the original school, one West. He's an elder. He's been in some 20 years in this truth, 20 plus years in this truth. Um, the brother was in the spirit. He brought out the class for, uh, for the Passover, for the opening of the Passover. The brother was in the spirit. One of the things that he said that was profound, he said... That some of the camp leaders that's out here, instead of being so quick to make a video or make a class about brothers or sisters that fall out the camp or whatever the case may be. He said, why don't you pray for them? And that's the truth, man. That's the truth. That was a part of, it was good to hear that because it was a part of us purging out the leaven. During this feast. Purging out that leaven man. We Israel we got to purge out the leaven. You got brothers. You got so called elders out here. That somebody does something wrong. Or somebody says something. The first thing they want to do is. Do a, do a video about you. They want to do a video about you. Even if they don't mention your name in the video. It's still wicked as hell. To be sitting there. Talking about somebody in a video. And guess what? Your whole camp knows. Everybody in the camp knows who you talking about. That's wicked as hell. And the elder was in the spirit when he was like, you know what? Instead of doing videos about brothers and sisters all the time. Because Israel quick to do a video. They'll do a video about you real quick. Instead of doing that, why don't you pray for them brothers? Pray for them sisters. Okay, sister was caught in the midst of folly. Brother was caught in the midst of folly. Pray for them. Pray for them. Didn't Christ do that? Didn't Christ say to do that? 
Yeah, he said pray for them. Send up the prayers for them people before you do a video. It don't always got to be open rebuke. And you want to know something else? The hypocrisy in that is the same brothers that are quick to do open rebuke, so-called open rebuke. They be the same brothers that be like, that don't want open rebuke done on them. Don't want you to bring out the, the uh, you know, the things in their closet. Don't want you to expose them. You know, so it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. Um, it's a beautiful thing, man. Elder Mathakawa, Matha he was in the spirit with that. And, you know, that's my brother. He's here. He's here with us in Newark, New Jersey. The brother's here with me, the saints. We do several unity camps with that brother, Apostles of New Jerusalem. We do camps with him all the time. So that's our elder. We respect that brother. You know what I mean? And he was really in the spirit. Elder Shaul brought out some beautiful points as well. You know what I mean? And it was just a salute also to priest Danya Allah Banyamyan. And uh, in the Bronx, I believe his congregation is, Lions of Israel. That brother brought out a lot of good information. And it was just an honor to sit in the room with these brothers that been pushing, pushing, enduring for so long. You know, it's, it was an honor to sit in the room with them and just take little nuggets. You know, Priest Daniel Allah, um, he, he definitely taught me something. You know, in the in the in the little time that he was teaching and and going over certain things, he taught me a couple of things. Um, Matatawa always teaching me. Uh, Shaul, Elder Shaul, I'm always learning from him as well. Ashya Sharala, the brother, always always dropping jewels. You know, always dropping jewels. It was beautiful to just be there with his family. You see, his wives, everybody's in order. His children in order. Nothing crazy, no madness going on. Like, it was beautiful, man. If you needed something, you could hit the brothers up, ask them questions, this, that, and the third. Um, it was just a beautiful, beautiful event, man. And I challenge, I challenge all Israel to come together. I challenge all Israel to contact these brothers with the Maccabees Alliance Council. Because guess what? There are brothers in Israel. There are leaders in Israel and camps in Israel that are not about division. They're about coming together. They're